So Google Trends show you the global search uh, traffic uh, around the world, and it's an insight into the hive mind of all users. And you can see, and the graph below shows you the number of news articles. So you can see everyone's talking about Twitter, but no one gives a shit. And also, MySpace is pretty much almost dead. Um, it's also great for media owners. They can actually track the popularity of something. So here, we, but when you put it in context, it actually makes a lot more sense. Here we can see MasterChef, but also it's in Australia and its impact on recipe searches. I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, you can also use it to track global trends. So here we can see the uh, searches for free music is going down, why iTunes is going up. So everyone knows how to get free music. Are they willing to pay for it? Except South Africans. They really. <laughs> Uh, you can also use the, in retrospect, the, to track the, uh, the fads. And you, can see, and you can see that if you want to latch onto a fad, you've got a very small window to do so. And I actually didn't see Two Girls, One Cup on CNN either, so it did quite well. Um, I can also use this to track when our industry takes a holiday. I'm guessing it's around December when all the social media experts stopped searching for themselves. And who, who here can say they were searching for social media back in 2004? Old school. Uh, what, what, the fun comes from me when I actually go outside of the normal terms and you can actually see that you know, it's neck and neck between Bieber and uh, Gaga but if, you your money's on, if you put your money on God, you're in for long investment and I would sell that Paris Hilton sex tape now before it's worth nothing. <laughs> um, but if you want to track how good something is, you have to see, am I bigger than Jesus? And because of some fake stats, in early 2006, Sir Chuck Norris was bigger than Jesus. And what, what you can learn from that, you cannot go wrong with a beard. If I was a movie studio, I would use this tool to like, track what I would green light for a film. You can't go wrong with pirates. Um, vampires recently were quite big, and so expect to see a lot less zombie films and a lot more pirated uh, vampire pirates. <laughs> uh, you, you don't need to track trends to see that unemployment is a huge problem in the US, but you can see that people are getting, slowly getting more sad, but angry is getting, rising really fast, so expect the angriest Christmas this year. On a sad note, you can see sad is rising, but suicide is on the way down. Although I actually did more searches and the actual suicide rate isn't going down, but it's quite interesting. Maybe people are just learning how to commit suicide. They don't need to search for it. <laughs> um, AIDS and cancer. So you can see the World AIDS Day on December 1 really works at um, letting people know about AIDS, but everyone is slowly getting bored of World AIDS Day. And also, um, cancer is on everyone's mind, but although it's, it's, it's uh, dropping as well, so people are, there's a lot more talk about cancer. Um, if only the stock market was this easy. The uh, oh my god is um, raising quite big this year. The um, LOL is steady, where what the fuck needs to um, release more dividends and look out for, look out for the for the war um, IPO later this year. Um, 2010 is year of the unicorn, with the staying power not seen by any other mythical creature. But the the internet, the internet was built on porn and now it's about socialising and meeting friends, right? No. Um, <laughs> basically, everyone's still searching for porn. But porn, porn comes in many shapes and sizes, so what exactly kind of porn are people looking for? <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to cancel my grandma's bus about tour of uh, Europe right after this. And I was, am I the only one that missed the robot sex revolution earlier this year? <laughs> Do not go to the Czech Republic. <laughs> it's scary. Uh, but people like to laugh as well. So funny cats and funny porn battled it out, but funny porn's making a huge increase, especially in Brisbane. Um, I can't remember what the next one. Oh, I'm going to register Icon has dildos after this as well. Uh, this is the strongest correlation I could find. December is the year of shopping, while January is the year of diet. If only people searched more for exercising, we'd all be okay. <laughs> and Brazilians love shopping. It's, it's quite crazy. Um, the only thing I can say about this is, if ever your grandma knits you a sweater, you better well damn wear it. If not for your, if not for your own safety, for granddad's. Keep her busy. Uh, you can see here in uh, late 2008, the, the collective world didn't know its ass from its elbow. And uh, twice as many people now are asking Google, what time is it, compared to uh, uh, six years ago. You can thank um, Daylight Savings for that. 
So what did I learn from this? I learned that A, Google Trends is addictive and also I have the perfect pitch for the Hollywood blockbuster. Thank you. Thank you.